As you may recall from my video about extracting salt from seawater, it took approximately 700 BTUs of energy to bring 100 grams of water to a boil. That energy came from butane. What if you can use wood? In past years, people used to boil water on an open flame. This is relatively inefficient because an open flame is in an open space, which does not concentrate the heat in a small area. One great alternative to an open flame for cooking is a rocket stove. In this video, let's see what a rocket stove can do. Let's go off grid. You're probably asking, what is a rocket stove? A rocket stove is an efficient wood burning stove with a high heat output. It can boil water and cook just about any type of food. One question you may have is why not just use a normal wood burning stove instead of a rocket stove? The difference between the two is that a wood burning stove is great at evenly distributing the heat while a rocket stove can concentrate the heat in a small area, which allows for faster cooking. A wood burning stove uses radiant heat and a rocket stove uses convection. What is the difference between the two types of heat transfer? Radiant heat is the heat that radiates off a heat source, while convection is the transfer of heat with direct contact. For example, if you put your hand in front of a hair dryer, you will feel convection heat. When someone lights a fire in a wood burning stove, the stove will put off radiant heat. Another difference between radiant heat and convection heat is the dissipation of heat when you run out of fuel. When a rocket stove runs out of fuel, the heat will quickly dissipate. When a wood burning stove runs out of fuel, the heat will remain for an extended period of time. The reason for this is that a wood burning stove retains heat while a rocket stove transfers heat to a cooking surface. In order for fire to burn, it needs oxygen and a space to burn. A rocket stove provides a place to burn and a large intake for oxygen which allows the fire to burn hot. Fuel for a rocket stove can consist of most organic matter such as small branches, owner's manuals, report cards, scrap lumber, and yard clippings. How much wood will it take to boil 100 grams of water? Let's start off by seeing how many BTUs are in one pound of wood. According to this table, California black oak has approximately 27.4 million BTUs per cord of wood. One cord of wood weighs about 3,625 pounds. Divide 27.4 million by 3,625 pounds and we get 7,558 BTUs per pound of wood. Let's go back to my video on extracting salt from seawater. It took 703.7 BTUs to boil 100 grams of water. This was done on a butane burner. Take 7,558.6 and divide it by 703 and we get 10.7 grams of necessary wood to boil 100 grams of water. So I only need to collect 11 grams of wood to boil 100 grams of water? Not exactly. A big difference between a rocket stove and a butane burner is the way the two heat up. With a butane burner, when the flame is lit by a small spark, you have heat right away. When you start a flame in a rocket stove, it'll take some time to get the flame to a suitable temperature. Once the flame is up to temperature, then you'll most likely be able to use just about 10 grams of wood. In future videos, we will measure exactly how much fuel it will take to get the flame to a suitable temperature. In the next video, we will begin the simple design for a homemade rocket stove.